We're going to have a chat, chat now with the Conservative MP for Lewis, Maria Caulfield. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Now, as you know, today's new tiers are very controversial, especially in parts of Sussex where the rate is low. Many of your colleagues in the South East voted against them last night. I know you didn't. How are you justifying that to constituents who feel that being in tier two is very unfair? Well, you know, but we are, uh, we did have a, a number of uh, spikes, although we're still quite low, we've had some uh, spikes of incidences uh, uh, across Sussex. And so uh, it was felt that it was safer to go into tier two than tier one. You know, our hospital capacity is quite tight locally, even with low numbers. Uh, you know, we heard from our director of public health, um, uh, he met with locally Sussex MPs to go through that. Um, and, you know, there were very few ITU beds, uh, a number of new admissions with COVID. Um, but actually, even in tier two, you heard in your report, you know, all retail is open today. Uh, we've got a lot of things that haven't been open for months, from sporting events to entertainment venues. Churches are open for worship. And so while it, we have gone into tier two, actually, there is a lot open uh, that wasn't open before. So our economy is restarting, uh, which I think is uh, very good news for people. And with the vaccine on the horizon, if we can keep our numbers low, um, we've got, you know, quite a bright uh, new year ahead of us. Let's talk about that vaccine. Obviously, good news today. But what everyone wants to know is how soon this can be distributed to people in, in your constituency. Yeah, so I think it's going to be fairly soon. Uh, the Prime Minister has obviously made an announcement today that it's going to be start to be rolled out from next week, but there's a triage of who gets it first. Um, residents in care homes and their carers will be first at the top of the list. Then those over 80, NHS workers, those with medical conditions. So really the most vulnerable people will be the first to get it. And it's going to take several months because uh, whether it's the Pfizer dose uh, or vaccine or the Oxford one, these are two dose vaccines. So you need to have two doses of the vaccine, roughly about three weeks apart uh, to have had the full vaccine. And so that's going to take time as well. So that's why it's such a difficult logistics uh, operation. It's not just about getting people through the door. They've got to come back for their second vaccine for it to be uh, the, the, as effective as it can be. As well as an MP, you're also a registered nurse. And I know you've been keeping up your nursing skills during the pandemic. Does that mean you'll be one of the first to get the vaccine? Well, I don't know. I don't. I certainly don't want to be putting myself ahead of uh, of anyone else. But NHS workers will get it because um, obviously we need people there uh, to be able to look after people with all sorts of illnesses, not just COVID. Um, you know, if you haven't got the NHS workforce, then people don't get treated for heart disease, strokes, cancer. Um, so, you know, I'm pleased that NHS workers and care workers uh, will be um, pretty high up there. But, you know, I'm still I still do shifts in, in, in the hospitals. Um, and even on my last shift, when I hadn't seen a COVID patient for many, many weeks, we had uh, COVID patients where I was working. So I could see that there was an, a, an increase coming back, um, you know, into to NH hospi NHS hospitals. Um, so, you know, while it's good news today that we're opening up the economy while uh, the vaccine is on its way, we do need to be mindful that this vaccine hasn't disappeared. And so the precautions are still needed. The virus hasn't disappeared. The vaccine is, uh, is coming, we hope. Oh, the Maria vaccine, yeah, Thank you very much for joining us from Westminster.